everyone. It's May 28th. Um, sitting over here, he's trying to get his air conditioner fixed in the van. And uh, looks like the uh, compressor went out, so it's going to be a little more work than he thought. Probably won't be able to do it before Tuesday. But, uh, um, you know, we're getting here, it is the 28th of May. You know, and I, I don't know. Just, I feel everything is so close to getting ready to happen right now. I mean, it's like I'm looking. There's four more days left in May. I don't feel there's much time, you know. Can't say the day or the hour, but I know there's not much time. Just the way I see everything working out. You know, you try, try to warn people all the time. <clears throat> but, yeah, I, I figure between what I'm doing and what everybody else is doing here on the channel, because I know everybody else is reaching out trying to warn people, and they're having the same frustrations that I'm having. I know you are. And, uh, it's, it's just what's happening, you know? We're in those times where, uh, me a bottle of water. We just in those times, you know, when uh, people are busy in this world, is, they don't want to let go of what's in here. That's where, excuse me, that's where I've been trying to re remind people. You know, we all know, like World War II, how a lot of the Jewish people back then. They didn't believe Hitler was going to do everything he did. And they didn't believe the nation was going to follow him like they did either. And that's how evil works, you know. But we didn't see the evil that was in hand in Germany then, like we're seeing here today. It's going to be the same thing. But this is strike three, okay? World War One, World War Two. this is World War Three coming up. But it's also the end, revelations. The Lord, you know, everything's really according to His will. And the devil's dancing to His tune. You know, the devil's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Matthew 22 clearly says a lot of people didn't show up for the wedding and they weren't worthy. It's not my words. I've had some people saying, oh, you ain't supposed to be saying that. You're supposed to be comforting, making everybody feel like they're all going. And I text them back, and I'll even say it right here live so everybody can hear it. I'm not here to try to tickle anybody's ears. I'm just here to give you the straight truth. Yeah, you know? I'm here to try to get you to see what the truth is and not have your ears tickled. You know, Matthew's... Uh, 22, the what man, read it yourself, you know, the five wise and five foolish, that's all that's even going, even the foolish are going to have to go through the great tribulation, and they say, no, everybody's going through the great tribulation, no, because it says in St. Luke, pray to be worthy to escape what's about to happen to the whole world, and uh, Revelation 3 is the key answer to that, how you're going to escape that, by not denying his name. Remember what Jesus said, if you deny me, I'll deny you. And you remember when they took him out of our schools, government, and, uh, they said it doesn't belong on the job force either. Therefore, a lot of people are over there talking about their politicians. But are they talking about Jesus Christ? And I'd say, well, it's not allowed. Well, if you deny his name, he clearly said, I'll deny yours. You know, if you want to hang on to these worldly things and play by their rules, then you're going to play by their rules, you know. And those that want to follow the Lord, pick up their cross and follow the Lord, they're not going to deny His name. That's how you're going to escape. Remember, I'm not here to try to tickle your ears. Um, I let my business fold up. I had people saying they could build it if I just spoke less, and I, I refuse to do it. I'm telling you the truth, man. The only reason why I am the way I am is because I don't want to see anybody left behind. But uh, what are you going to do? You know, 
it's not, I'm, I'm not going to say it's going to be easy because it isn't. You know, I mean, I, I lived in my shop for two years. I lived in my truck. I'm still living in my truck, technically. Um, and I'm, I got a job. We get this van fixed, you know, and I got to finish training with him for probably another two weeks. And then he's going out of the country for a while, and then I'll be driving this van on if we're here that long, you know? I mean, I know it's close. You know how at the end of the Bible, how it speaks about the ten horns in the Bible? But the end times coming, the ten horns? Ain't it funny that I'm working for a company with ten, it's called Ten Points? And it's got a picture of a deer, like the buck stops here. A picture of a deer. Look at it, man. Like the buck stops here. clearly see the eyes. They're red. Red eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like the buck stops here. Yeah, everybody's heard that saying, the buck stops here. Well, these are signs. Most people can't see them because they're wrapped up in the world. I went home with people after uh, church thinking that we were going to share about the Lord and everything and What's at hand and everything, man? As soon as we got to their house, they turned on the football game. That's what they wanted to do. They were in a rush to do that. Couldn't even talk to them because they were busy watching the game. And uh, it's just crazy. It's the way it's the world we're in. But the thing is, you don't want to be following the world. Remember what happened to the Jewish people in uh, Germany, man? They wouldn't let go. And uh, then when they got taken out of their homes and they couldn't get their money out of the bank accounts, they were loaded on trains. Then they said, oh, well, we're just going to take you to the border and you'll get on another train from there. They believed them all the way to the gas chambers, everything they were told. And that's kind of what's happening here today. News media, they're telling people what they want to hear. Like I said, I'm not here to tickle you here. I'm just here to tell you the truth. And I guarantee you, Obama, all those people, they know I'm here. I guarantee you they know I'm here, man. They don't like me one bit. Because they got, they're got they being driven by another spirit. And it, ain't, and it ain't from God's kingdom. It's from Satan's uh, dwelling. And uh, they, they definitely know I'm here. But remember this, John the Baptist, he wasn't tickling ears either, was he? And uh, I'm not afraid of anybody here any more than John the Baptist was. But uh, just remember that there's going to be more, many more against us because these are the days that we're in. But he says, pray to be worthy to escape. Therefore, don't deny his name. You know? Don't get caught up in these worldly things, okay? Um, generally, I like to show that, show that little angel. blowing the trumpet over my head. I don't have that. That's back in my truck right now. And uh, But anyhow, I'll, I'll be showing it later because i got a few newer people here. But if anybody wants to see a picture of it and the other pictures that I have, send me an email at M-A-R-K D as in David H as in Hardy 1960 at gmail.com. Again, that's Mark, M A R K, D as in David, H as in Hardy, 1960, at gmail.com. And I'll send you some photos of that uh, right away as soon as I get the, uh, an email from you. That way you don't have to put your email up or anything like that where other people will see it. Because, you know, like I said, I know I've got people that are uh, that are following me for the wrong reasons, you know what I mean, so we don't want to, be careful what you're listening to, some people are on here trying to uh, tickle the ears, and there's another guy with the Superman outfit or whatever, he's putting things there, he's not even saying nothing, the links that he wants you to push on, don't even go there, man, I'm trying to get that all deleted off of my uh, page. Like I said, there's going to be wolves in there, too. You know, they're out here. There's going to be a lot of them. 
Jesus said, these are the days where people are going to try to deceive you, and they're going to be good at what they do. Um, not that they're good people, it's just that's what they do. They're deceivers. And uh, don't be deceived. This is not the time. We're getting ready to leave this place. And I know the vision that I had where my hand changed transparent. That meant it's at hand. It's getting ready to happen. That vine I seen coming out of the water, um, there was there is no water left in the lake, and the fruit that was attached to it was all ready for harvest. The color was beautiful. Um, so there's no time left. There's no time. You know, don't be deceived. And you need to be seeking the Lord, not the worldly things. These things you got to let go because you're not going to take them with you. Okay? God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit. Do not deny his name. Those are the key things. Read it in the Bible. I'm not telling you nothing that ain't written. God bless us.